A hearing on motions in the Michael Slager case. The former North Charleston police officer's trial begins on Monday. News 2's Annie Taylor joins us now live just outside the courthouse downtown. Annie, could this hearing be about Slager's uh, attorney who's requesting that trial be moved to another location? Yeah, Brad, that's kind of what we're assuming this could be. They haven't stated exactly what this hearing will be on what motion they've sent out. But yeah, last week, Andy Savage, who is Michael Slager's attorney, he sent out that motion to the court saying that we actually want the trial to be moved out of Charleston because we feel like jury selection here will be tainted, that everyone will be against Michael Slager to begin with. We all know that the 33 year old of Michael Slager, he's the former North Charleston police officer, he will stand trial in the death of 50 year old Walter Scott, who was shot while running away from a traffic stop back in April of 2015. The shooting was captured on cell phone video. Now, the jury must decide whether Slager murdered him or not. Like you mentioned, though, Brad Slager's attorney, Andy Savage, filed a motion last week requesting a change in venue. One of the reasons given by Savage as to why the defense believes it will be nearly impossible to find a fair trial here in Charleston is because he argues that the media has woven Slager's trial with the federal death penalty trial of admitted Charleston church shooter Dylan Roof. That trial is slated to begin one week after Slager. We also want to mention that this coming Monday, yes, Halloween, October 31st, that is when Michael Slager's trial will begin for the state. Live in downtown Charleston, I'm Annie Taylor for News 2. Andy Savage also represents the families of the victims of the Charleston church shooting. And News 2's Carol Murray sat down with Savage ahead of both trials. You can watch that full interview coming up tonight on News 2 at 5 and 6 o'clock.